Hello guys and welcome to Mark Trim Talks. Today we're going to be talking about my crossbreeding projects that I do in all my tanks. We're going to cover the progress we've made, what our ch uh, changes we've made, etc. And there's something else. We have a new member of the family here called Lucy. She's a little puppy. But unfortunately she's a little bit scared of me still. I don't know if it is because of my mom or... But I remember this when I had a dog before. Uh, when, when we had a dog in Scotland, it, it was um, very afraid of me as well. I'm not sure if it's my height or my face or what. I think we'll start here because this is the tank that's had the most uh, things happen to it. I'm going to go over what I've done to it, what shrimp I've removed, what shrimp I've added. And I'm going to show you the results as well. You'll see some, some more of the results in macro mode as well because obviously I can't show you the best detail with a GoPro. Let's just talk about the first thing with this tank is, right, is uh, there are literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of shrimp in here guys, right? But when you look at it like this, this is a problem I was made aware of before. When I watched one of my own videos and I thought, you know, this tank looks empty, but it really isn't. And it's only until you get like lower down to here that you can see there's actually a lot of shrimp on the bottom. And the problem is tangerine tigers against this kind of soil, they look invisible, right? So. Um, I have removed probably 300 shrimp from here, more than this before, I put 100 odd tangerine tigers in here before they properly crossed, so I had purebred tangerine tigers in here, and the ones that were in here, they came out after, they've been hybrids, right, so we have um, a lot of hybrids in here, these are the ones I've taken out of that tank there, and um, what I've done is I've added um, one uh, blue orange eye tiger it was a female I've also added a red zebra pinto here that you can see here and the plan is as well I'm going to add uh, more red shrimp in here but I'm waiting on them breeding in another tank which I'll show you in a second okay but this tank has been doing phenomenally good the cross breeding is um, taking off quite well in this I have lots and lots of hybrids again over the course of this video guys I will show you up in the corner somewhere up here macro shots of them as well because it's really hard for me to get any kind of detail with this but you can see here they have lots and lots of little what you'd class as Taiwan bees pandas here but I'm also getting ones that are like multi-striped zebra pintos as well now I'm not sure if they've come off these black and white ones here in the middle because these ones came from my attempt at making my own blue um, blue zebra striped pinto Right, see these ones here, there's a few of them that come at this tank down here. So they have the genetics of uh, blue steel. And what's also interesting, just as we speak about there, right there, is a little blue steel as well. So I'm getting a mixture of shrimp coming out of everything. A lot of the crosses look pretty spectacular so far as well. Um, I'm getting quite a few that are just pure white, which I like. I like the uh, variation. Um, I'm also getting quite a lot of them that are like just plain black. Now I did have a black male in here, uh, King Kong Extreme, but I think he has died because I haven't seen him for a while. But there are young in here that are King Kong Extremes as far as I can tell. And everywhere where I go around here there is more and more shrimp. There's, it's just full of it. There's another up here somewhere. I'm pointing roughly, you might be able to see it up here. There's a little King Kong Extreme. And this tank is doing awesome. Another little uh, crossbreed there is, uh, it looks like a King Kong Extreme, but it has like six or seven blue stripes in its back. So I take it's a zebra pinto that has blue stripes in its back, which is pretty cool. There's another one over there, which is a white morph of some type. And so this tank will get more and more exciting. Plan is as well as for me to introduce more blue into this tank and more red. Because it's, it's, when you look at it like this, guys, it, there's, there's shrimp on this, right, but there's lots and lots of small ones. But it looks like there's nothing there. Right, so I'm going to add shrimp that have contrasting colours. In the future, I hope to get more uh, species of tiger shrimp, etc. to put in here to give it even more variation. If you guys can think of anything else that I could put in here to give it even more variation, please leave uh, uh, whatever it is you have as your idea in the comment section below, okay? So that is that tank. Let's go into the zebra pinto tank. Now technically I'm not crossing anything in here. Well, I'm not really because these uh, parents are all the same. But I am getting um, blue steels out of um, these F2s. 
and they look quite cool. I'm getting a lot of um, little hybrids as well, which I didn't get at all in the F1 stage. You can probably see one right there crossing the little dish. Um, I'm also getting um, quite a lot of uh, baby zebra pintos as well. You can see one in the dish there. There's one here. So we can spot any more while we're looking. And in here I've noticed there's a lot of them. There's like uh, the last count was like 15, but the 15 is just in this little small area here, so you can imagine what's all in this moss. Right, so this uh, project is doing really well. There's actually three of them in a little bundle right behind that little thing there. There's actually another little blue bolt there too. So this tank is doing awesome. I've added a lot of um, hornwort in this as well to give the baby shrimp more coverage and uh, for there to be more uh, biofilm area, etc. But the main goal is to have um, more plants to suck out any impurities in the water, okay? You can just see another little blue bolt behind there, so this one's firing at blue bolts. Um, go to this tank here. Now, I've previously filmed this because I wanted you to see these guys more in the dish than they are, because I knew after a while they would just leave. These, this shrimp tank is doing absolutely awesome. Um, if you go back to my last update, if you want to go back and look that far, you can see the difference in this tank. I have way more plants again. The shrimp I have all become adults. And one of them is almost going to drop her baby soon. The red one you can see here, the ruby red extreme. She's been buried for a while, so she should be uh, dropping her baby soon. I have two wine reds in here that are also buried. But I also have uh, this little girl here. You see this uh, Missouri type uh, shrimp here. She is actually also buried, right? so it is quite a good ratio we have in here of buried shrimp to males so so far I think there's just like three males and there's like four or five females and they're all buried which is good and because these tanks here have been doing so well guys as well I've changed this tank over to the same idea now this one is behind all the other tanks by quite a bit um, I'm not noticing any of the females in here getting buried and as far as I know as well guys, I can't actually see a buried female in here. I thought I moved my buried female from over here into this tank before, not buried female, the um, the blue steel that I had, I thought I moved the female over to here, but she's either died or, or she wasn't a uh, female at all because I just can't see her being buried. Right? These get the same diet as the other tank, all the other tanks, and... Um, I'm just not seeing any action. Yeah, I do actually see a little red shrimp there. I don't know what that is. I noticed in this one as well, there's a little red shrimp. There's a good chance that maybe when I move some of the plants out here, there's been some little stowaways in amongst this hornwort. Let's go into this tank now. I know technically this, this tank here isn't something that we've created as a, a crossbreeding project, but it is still, they're still kind of crossbred because and here, as again, you'll see in the macro shots, there is uh, rillies, and they look pretty cool. I didn't think they looked this cool. And there's a mixture of little blue babies and red ones as well. So I have a little project coming up for this tank, so keep an eye out for that, that will dramatically change the way it looks. I think it will look pretty awesome. You should see that video in maybe one or two weeks, and it'll change everything about this tank. Okay, so watch it for that. Let's go on to the next tank. Alright, let's go into the coal tank and now I know this is not technically anything that we've done as a crossbreeding project but there's loads and loads of babies in here. All the way down the side here, again you will see them up in the top right hand corner and it will be amazing to see what comes out of this guys because I never ever really had much luck in breeding any shrimp in here at all, we just didn't breed before. They basically got huge and died, rinse and repeat, but now they're actually reproducing quite a bit. I can see um, crystal type babies everywhere in here, all along the sides, up and down the sides. So we should probably get a few hybrids and stuff in here as well. So watch out for that. Okay, onto the tanks here now. These ones technically aren't anything to do with a crossbreed, but I know you guys want to see them anyway. Orange dry blue tigers. The thing I'm noticing about this tank specifically is the orange eye blue tigers are staying relatively small. I'm not really getting any of them getting bigger and becoming buried and producing more. And I think it's just basically because I have too many of them in this tank. Same with the tigers over here, orange eye tigers, not orange eye, tangerine tigers. Um, I do see buried shrimp in here as well, but I don't know guys, you think you hit like a kind of maximum number of shrimp and then 
they just don't produce as much. Mm, I think so. Uh, this is the red zebra pinto tank. Now it looks nothing to look at. And yesterday I did see um, one or two babies flying around as I was doing a water change. So there is young in here as well. It's just because this tank is relatively new, newly set up. The shrimp have only been in here maybe one or two months and uh, there's really not much to see. This tank has been doing pretty well as well. You can see the microfauna has just absolutely exploded in here and that has a lot to do with this Bacter AE or any bacterial regime you have where you do smut marillonite clay and some bacterial food. I use my own bacterial food. I also use pure Nordic stuff as well. I like to use them in kind of like a rotation and dose the water, but this tank is looking really, really cool. The shrimp are actually absolutely uh, thriving in here as well. This tank, again, um, it's the same as nearly all of the tanks, actually. The the babies have exploded. I'm seeing a lot of Taiwan B, uh, King Kongs, etc. babies in here. I will also put them in macro mode. Up the top right corner for you guys to see. I've also um, completely done away with the, the string algae in this tank with being frugal and doing something else. I'll share what I did with you guys in another video for algae because it's quite a good one. And um, I've actually managed to clear all all different kinds of algae from uh, most of my tanks. Right, So what you've seen here is mainly now all plants. Right, Beautiful little baby King Kong right there. Panda on the leaves. Alright guys, onto this top tank. Now, um, there is absolutely, to, to me it looks like there's billions of shrimp in here. I'm going to show you, I'm going to pan across the screen so you can see if, uh, how many shrimp you can count. There's like literally babies on every single surface. I am seeing the odd hybrid in here. Um, the breeding project for this one has slightly, I don't know, it is, is much slower than the other tank. I'm not sure if it's anything to do with the actual numbers of shrimp. Like. I maybe half too many in here for it to be successful. I noticed that in the other tank. Um, in general, like the crossbreeding slows right down when you have such a huge number of one type of shrimp. And the other tank is tangerine tigers, and this one is crystals. I do see hybrids in here though. Let's see if we can spot one or two of them. There's one up there. I will also, as always, put some uh, macro shots up so you can see the hybrids for yourself. But there is literally thousands of babies in here all on every surface. Let's have a look at this corner up here as we go along. Look at them guys, they're just everywhere. There's probably 200, 300 shrimp just in this little area here. Babies mixed in with the... So what's our tongue? Look at them. Right, this is why I love the water tongue as well, it's just so dense. You can look, as I pan along here you can probably see, count the babies in there for me. And so this tank is doing awesome as well. There is also quite a few uh, buried tangerine tigers as well. So it will be interesting to see what comes of this. Okay, let's just have a little quick look down here at the painted fire reds because I know some of you guys want to see these as well. They've literally exploded. I have to put food in a couple parts of the tank now because the planting is so dense with the hornwort. But this is the way I like it guys, I like lots of hormone in my tanks. A little look in here again. <gasps> Got all the shrimp on the bottom. All tangerine tiger hybrids. Of course these ones will be going into my store for sale. You just love it when you have so many babies in one tank. Let's have a wee count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. There's three at the back in that one little spot, but you get the gist. There's a beautiful little one on this skewer here, about halfway up. Oh, it must have seen me because it jumped. So that is really the video for today. I just wanted to go over it all with you to show you my uh, progress. Uh, future ideas for this will be to try and find more variations of tigers and bees and stick them in this tank. Um, most of my other projects will be if I get different, like, uh, Project Red, different variations. I'm not sure I'm going to mix these with Pintos or, or what yet. 
I would kind of like to keep them separate as in uh, black zebra pintos here, red zebra pintos over here. Project Red Taiwan Bees, Project Blue Shadow, slash Shadow Taiwan Bees in here. And then everything else goes mixed in there. Um, I don't really have space for more stuff. Let me know what you think in the comment section, guys, what you think I should do with these other tanks. I quite like the idea of having these as um, a Project uh, Red, a fancy crystal of this side. Same with this one, but with uh, black and white as well. And I think that looks pretty cool. I need to find a solution for these two tanks down here where um, we're giving them a little bit more space to grow because they're, they're, become, they're not stunting. You can see it with this tank down here. These ones were very, very small in this tank. A month later, they're buried and they're, they're adults. So I just need to figure a way to uh, get them to grow on a little bit faster. And I'm not sure if that requires me to do something like uh, more regular water changes or if I could figure something to add to the water. Because I'm not sure if it is purely a spatial thing for shrimp to stay this small or if it is like a hormonal thing where the bigger shrimp produce like more hormones or if it's something that comes with their, um, their waste from the body. Maybe it could be like ammonia that's created from the waste and it stunts the shrimp a little bit. So this is something we have to look into. Okay, if you know anything about that kind of uh, idea I'm talking about, let me know in the comment section below as well. If you've enjoyed today's video, please leave me a like. And also comment away in the comment section below. And subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll catch you in the next one. Happy shrimp eating, guys.